match day. Australia taking on Argentina in the knockout rounds of the FIFA World Cup. Who thought you'd be saying that a few months ago? What an unbelievable fixture. I don't think there is any fixture in world football that I'd rather have at a World Cup and a momentous occasion like this than taking on Argentina, one of the most iconic teams in World Cup history. I can't wait. To say it's going to be a hard task is the understatement of the century. I don't think I can put into words how special this fixture feels to me, playing at Argentina in the knockout round of a World Cup. Wow. There's not a more iconic team for me associated with this competition than Argentina. They've scored the most legendary goals in the competition's history, particularly the Hand of God by Maradona. Then we have the fact they've won the World Cup twice. They've been involved in so many controversial, huge moments and matches. They've been blessed with players such as Lionel Messi now and Maradona back in the day. It's an amazing, amazing opportunity to play them. And, you know, being from the other side of the world with the atmosphere and the emotion that their fans will bring, it's going to be very, very special. Just uh, got off the plane in Doha, the cheaper airports are now walking to the metro station, which I regret. Should have got the free shuttle bus, but we've come this far. Getting excited for the game. 10 p.m. kickoff, it's about 5 now. Argentina with all the experience at this part of World Cup tournament, something Australia has only ever tasted once and never reached further than. Tonight will be that opportunity to do so, and it couldn't come against a bigger heavyweight of an opponent than Argentina. But what's my prediction? Well, Argentina went into this 30-something games unbeaten. 30-something games. And now, they have lost one. They lost to Saudi Arabia in the opening game of this World Cup. So on that, I'm going to have to say if Saudi can beat them, we can beat them. I'm predicting Socceroos to win on penalties after a 0-0 draw. Still an hour before kickoff, behind me the Ahmad bin Ali Stadium in all its beauty. One of the new arenas constructed for the FIFA World Cup. It's 40,000 capacity and home to Al Ryan FC, one of the juggernauts of the Arabian Peninsula in terms of football. And it's just Argentina fans everywhere. Uh, I'd say we're outnumbered about 1 to 100 here. There are a few yellow gold shirts about, but normally it's actually Brazil shirts when you get up closer, and they've just come to enjoy the game. So truly outnumbered, it's gonna be an amazing atmosphere in there. But what a beautiful stadium. You can see the sweeping construction of the roof, the architecture designed to represent the sand dunes of the desert, which just starts in the background beyond us. And of course, Australia, they have history here, just like the Al Janoub, which became a bit of a home ground, playing there three times by the time we played Denmark. The Ahmad Bin Ali, we played there in June. We knocked out Peru for our spot 
at the FIFA World Cup on penalties in one of the greatest Australian football achievements this century. So tonight, it's going to be only good memories, only good vibes for the players in there and hopefully that actually plays a part in giving the players a bit more confidence going into the game and making sure that they can keep up with Argentina. Now you can see the, the numbers of Argentine shirts, the sky blue and white stripes everywhere around. You can kind of anticipate how much of a, a raucous atmosphere and how difficult it is going to be for Australia in there.
We're going back! We're going back! Deflection! It's Clay Goodman, I think, with a goal! This could be a nervy finish now! We haven't been creating anything, we've switched to a 4 3 3 after the Argentine second goal. It's all out of attack from Australia in terms of what they're trying to do, but that's the first chance. Oh, seven for 15. We have three minutes. Come on, Aaron! If you hear one person yelling, which is what people like. Especially with the chances we created. As good as the chances as they did, we may not have had the most possession or the as high a pass accuracy, but when it came to chances in that match, that narrowly on a self-inflicted mistake is devastating especially seeing the boys afterwards crying upset they knew they were so close they even had the chances to get that second equalizer great goalkeeping from the Argentine keeper Martinez and defending from their center backs what you what can you do 